56 years ago, my grandpa marched for voting rights across the Edmund Pettus Bridge in Selma, Alabama. Before my grandpa died unexpectedly, he planned to take me to Selma. He wanted to retrace his steps with me. It hurts that we would not take that walk together, but I comfort in reflecting upon what inspired my grandpa and the convictions we shared. My grandpa believed that connection across difference is possible. An African-American born in 1938, my grandpa married a woman of Polish descent in 1961, when interracial marriage was still illegal in 24 states. Even though he faced criticism, my grandpa followed his heart and he helped racially integrate my hometown. Today, I have a close group of friends of different races, religions, and backgrounds, and cherish attending a diverse public high school in the town where my grandpa helped make my experiences possible. My grandpa understood that change does not just happen. It is forged by people who act with intention. With that understanding, the very first activity I joined in high school was the Student Group on Race Relations, also known as SCORE. Through SCORE, I've coached fellow students to be upstanders, not bystanders, against bias, bigotry, and bullying. When George Floyd was killed last year, I thought about the lessons that I've learned from SCORE, and I heard a call to action. The action that affected me most deeply was participating in the Juneteenth March in Washington, D.C. With thousands of fellow Americans, I marched, while wearing a mask, chanting, this is what democracy looks like. Standing in the shadow of the MLK Jr. Memorial were the words, out of the mountain of despair, a stone of hope are engraved. I felt connected to the hopefulness my grandpa felt as he marched years ago. After returning from Washington, DC, I spent some time thinking about how to advance racial justice in America. I ultimately decided that the best way to, was to support voting. I signed up everywhere I could find a volunteer that it wasn't easy to find a place a teenager could plug in. Eventually, I found a way to volunteer at voter registration drives. I also helped organize the delivery of over 2,500 handwritten postcards to voters in Ohio, Georgia, Florida, and Alaska. Wanting others to benefit from my legwork, I created the website teensgetoutthevote.com. The website includes resources to help teens and the adults in their lives get out the vote, get out and volunteer. At the end of the march 56 years ago, Dr. King famously said, the arc of the moral universe is long, but it bends toward justice. I like to think that even without retracing my grandpa's steps on the Edmund Pettus Bridge, I am walking in his footsteps and helping to bend the arc of this nation towards a more equitable and just future. My grandpa would be proud of me, but he would want me to keep going. Won't you join me on the journey?